What's up everybody, this is Crack26 here, and I just want to start off by saying I'm quite pissed off with the NHL right now for being in a lockout and taking away my entertainment, my fun, and my job. <laughs> These guys are fighting over millions of dollars, uh, probably a lot of millions of dollars, it's probably not a billion yet, but millions of dollars. And I'm just trying to get enough money to pay off my car insurance and my car payment and stuff. <laughs> and these guys can't settle on how much money they want to keep to themselves. How ridiculous does that sound? <laughs> I don't think they understand that the people that are paying the money that they are fighting over is us. And TV and stuff like that. But a lot of it's us like the people that go to it like TV wouldn't pay them any money if they didn't have viewers we are the viewers like and all they're doing is blocking us off from this and it made a lot of people mad back in 2005 the last time they had a lockout and they were out the whole season it's not like basketball where they were gone for like a month and that was it this is like the last time it was a full season it better not do that like a lot of the players are heading over to Europe to go play and that just shows that it's gonna be a while the only thing I'm happy about with the NHL is not even the NHL it's the Phoenix Coyotes um, they finally just signed Shane Doan so that's finally done uh, we still don't have an owner yet I don't think but I, I don't know I went to work at jobbing to do some work and that's just what happened so yeah, let's go there with a new topic. So I was at work and um, my boss said that we gotta get ready for, okay, so I work for the Coyotes, which is at jobbing.com arena. There's no ice in right now, obviously, cause there's no hockey. I was just working to try to get some money and yeah, just get some money and hang out at the rink cause I love that place. Um, and my boss said that there was uh, the Kellogg's tour of gymnastics champions coming, which I was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. So I asked my boss for tickets, and he finally got, and he got me some. I, I didn't think he was going to be able to, but he did. And they were sick tickets. They were, they were in a suite and everything. Um, so I ended up going with my mom because she said she wanted to go. And I was like, yeah, that'll be fun. So that's what happened. And it was freaking sick. Like, my parents put me, me and my brother into gymnastics back when we were like, really young like I, I don't even remember it um, I guess we were four and six I, I don't know like to where you can't really do anything it's just you're there and supposed to be having fun um, and then we moved to Pennsylvania and never got back into it and I was a hockey player and I'm hoping you guys know that I got kind of far in that um, so yeah now that I see this I'm like dang this could be pretty fun uh, like I was kind of wishing that I could go back in time in my life and go back and see how that would have turned out like I doubt I would have had a career like I'd like to think that I would have been just the best gymnast in the world and could have done something sick but I don't know you, you never know but I doubt it um, but the only person that I was watching in the Olympics and at the at this event was Jordan Weber like I'm a huge fan for some reason I don't even know why like I saw her on TV and then she, she was who I watched like during the Olympics I asked my parents is women's gymnastics on is Jordan Weber up like <laughs> that's it <laughs> I don't know why um, obviously she, I think she's really good looking and she's a gold medalist now like how do you go wrong with that like <laughs> that is sick like she spent her whole life practicing a lot of people did um, like all the Olympians their whole lives like practicing and they finally got it and that's just sweet like number one in all around like gymnastics that that's sick and the good thing about being a gymnast is man those guys were freaking ripped like one of the things that they did was this guy like held this girl on it on his hands and he was holding his arm straight up and she was like 
upside down, like pretty much doing a handstand on his hands and stuff. And then they let one of the hands go. So they were just holding on by like one hand. So those people are freaking strong. I don't know what they do, what gym they they are a part of, but that's ridiculous how they can hold themselves up for like a minute doing that. And then, I don't know, you just have to go. Like if that show is coming to your town, like go to it. It's definitely worth it. it it's pretty sick. Um, <laughs> there was a bunch of kids there though. <laughs> like when I was walking in, because uh, there's so many kids that are gymnasts it, it's like any sport um obviously it's hard to get in because when you're a kid there's a lot of people that do it so that makes it i don't know really tough um obviously to just be noticed and then become an elite gymnast um i really don't know anything about any of this all i know is that when i have a kid i'm definitely putting that putting them in gymnastics and hockey I don't care if they're a girl or a boy like it whoever says that gymnastics is just for girls like I don't even know what to say to you because uh, <laughs> I'm sure any of those guys on the men's gymnastics could kick anyone's ass that stood up to them unless they're like an MMA fighter or something I don't think they could handle that but maybe they could do like flips around them and freak them out and then punch them I don't know but <laughs> Man, it, it was sick. Like, it made me want to become a gymnast. I, I know I said that, but um, I'm obviously too old. I'm 21 years old. But if I could, uh, I would just love for, like, Jordan Weber to take me to a gym and show me what the hell to do. <laughs> um, so I should move along in the story. Uh, there's not much left to it, but... Um, that night ended and I went back to work the next day uh, I was just cleaning the boards doing my own little thing had nothing to do with the gymnastics or even hockey um, so that I went into work and I texted my boss I was like I'm kind of pissed off no one told Jordan Weber to stay for me like, I think they should have told her to wait so that way I could see her because <laughs> obviously I wasn't gonna go down to the floor and shake her hand, get her autograph, whatever, uh, that night because I would have felt bad because then I'm taking the spot of some little kid that really wants to see her. And I just want to see her because I, I like her and she's good at what she does and she's really good looking. FYI, I, was, I had just gotten my 20 second kill, two away from a mob. I was telling my team, don't get any more <laughs> tags for like the last minute. They weren't listening. I was so pissed off <laughs> like I don't know um, and that game was also with Nostra so shout out to him um, that's all I got for you guys today I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if anyone says that this is gay and whatever I don't really care you guys can think what you want um, if you think it's gay then go out there and play some football whatever you want to do <laughs> uh, whatever makes you happy um, other than that I'm gonna be right back with the bonus clip. Okay, and for today's bonus clip, we have Spart. Um, also, I guess the Spartanator <laughs> is what he is on PSN, but I just call him Spart. Um, we have him just going beast in hardcore. And while that clip goes, I'm gonna start talking about what I'd like to do for my next video or future videos if it doesn't happen next. I would like to do a I guess a series where um, it's just like a question series like a question vid whatever I don't care or a topic vid. so like you guys leave a comment with questions or would you rathers if you want or topics and just let me know what you guys want me to talk about and I'll do that to the best of my ability and we'll just make that a series that way I can have something that's constant that's going up on my channel that way it's not just a bunch of random videos that I think about every once in a while <laughs> so let's hope that that works out leave your comments and if you're still here leave your likes uh, if you last my if you missed my last video click on that in the middle uh, if you have yet to subscribe please click the top right corner anywhere throughout the videos of any of my videos um, and that will take you to my subscribe page uh, in the description, there is my Facebook, Twitter, and Zazzle. And Madison Paradise Found just came out with her first album. Please go check that out at her website. That will also be in the description. 
And other than that, have a great day, guys. Peace.